I'm Louise, independent consultant with The Pampered Chef, and today I want to show you a recipe called the Chicken Enchilada Ring. This is a variation of the taco ring. So for this recipe, what you will need is a half a cup of mayo, one tablespoon of southwestern seasoning, one Roma tomato, the juice of half of a lime, garlic cloves are optional, a small can of chopped black olives, a small can of chopped green chilies, one cup of cheese, this is Colby Jack cheese, you can use Monterey Jack or cheddar, and about three-fourths of a cup of tortilla chips, and two cups of chopped cooked chicken. So let's go ahead and get started with the chicken. This is actually a chicken that I have already deboned and I just need to chop it up with our salad choppers. The salad choppers makes chopping or shredding chicken so easy. Okay, the chicken is chopped, ready to go. I'm gonna be mixing everything in my large batter bowl. So we only need two cups of this chicken, so let me measure out two cups. The batter bowl does have the measurements on there, so that's nice. And that is roughly two cups. There you go. Now to this I'm going to add the half a cup of mayonnaise. The tablespoon of Southwestern seasoning. Just so you know, we have a whole a collection of different rubs and seasonings. The Southwestern is a favorite. We need one can of chopped black olives. Having a smooth edge can opener is perfect because now I won't get any little nicks and cuts on my scraper here. One can of diced green chilies. There we go. Okay, now we need to chop the tomatoes. Okay, also I need to take the seeds out of the tomatoes because we don't want this in our mixture. Now we're just going to dice these up. Okay, we're going to add that. Okay, the juice of half of a lime. So we're just going to cut the, the lime in half and then use our citrus press. Look at all that juice that came out of there. Did you see that? There we go. Next we need to chop the corn tortilla chips. So I'm going to use the manual food processor. We'll just put these in here. Chop them up. I only need uh, two thirds of a cup. So we're gonna add that to this as well. Now we need one cup of freshly grated cheese. We're gonna add that to our bowl as well. And we're gonna mix all this together. So this is going to be our filling. You can always adjust the mayonnaise, so if you need a little bit more, you can always just add a little more. I think this is actually the perfect amount right here. Okay, and now we're ready to begin the crescent rolls. We will need two cans of Pillsbury Crescent Rolls, and we're going to be making this on a large round stone. All right, so to form the ring is cut this into the little triangles, and the larger part of the triangle goes in towards the middle, and the points of the triangle will hang off the edge. So to make this easier for yourself, just have your 
stoneware or your pizza pan, whatever you are using, raised up off of your counter. That just makes it a little bit easier. And we just go around overlapping a little bit and then your little points of the triangle will hang off the edge. So it's kind of like making a sun face on your stoneware. And this will take two packets of crescent rolls. Let's face it, everything tastes great in a crescent roll. Okay, now for the second pack. Also, you want to keep your crescent rolls in the refrigerator until the last minute, otherwise they get sticky. There's that big one. See, it looks like a sun face. Now we're going to use our roller and we're just going to roll all the seams together to form space to put the filling. Don't really worry about what it looks like because it always ends up looking great. Once it cooks and the crescent roll gets nice and toasted brown, it always looks good. Okay. Now for the filling, we're going to use our medium-sized scoop and you just go all the way around with your meat mixture. Okay, last scoop. Now all you do is bring the points up and over to the other side. There will be a little gap in between the crescent rolls and that's fine. Just go up and over, just bring it up and over. Just like this. And you just kind of push it to the, the other, the inside portion. Just kind of push it in there. There we go. Now the last thing we can do, this is also optional, is you can take a few more of the crushed tortilla chips and you can just sprinkle them on the top. This will give you a nice little crunch. This will go into a 375 degree preheated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until your crescent rolls are nice and golden brown. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes and our crescent rolls are nice and golden brown. It smells absolutely delicious. This served along with the fresh green salad would make a perfect easy weeknight meal. I hope you will give this a try with your family because I'm sure they will love it. How could they not? It's a crescent roll. Mmm. Tasty. Happy cooking. These are all the products that were used in today's recipe. If you see something that you would like in your kitchen, please click on the link above. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with my latest videos.